So the next part under transport layer is the Birkeley sockets. So this is also a very important question. This can be asked for two marks in the IA internal assessment exams or for five marks in the end semester exams. Uh, the question says, what are Birkeley socket primitives? Uh, what are Berkeley socket primitives? Uh, So sockets were first released as a part of Berkeley Unux 4.2 BSD. The primitives are now widely used for internet programming on many operating systems, especially Unix based systems. There is a socket style API for Windows called WinSock. So Berkeley sockets, socket primitives for TCP socket primitive creates a communication endpoint bind primitive associate a local address with a software listen primitive announce willingness to accept connections give queue size accept primitive passively establish an incoming connection connect primitive actively accept actively attempt to establish a connection send primitive send some data over the connection receive primitive receive some data from the connection and close primitive release the connection so Berkeley primitives server side primitives socket this primitive creates a new endpoint and allocates table space for it within the transport entity so it will create a new endpoint and allocate some kind of a table space for it within the transport entity bind the newly created sockets do not have addresses these are assigned using the bind primitives a bind primitive will assign the address to the newly created sockets so, listen primitive this primitive allocates space to the queue the incoming calls in case of several clients wish to connect at the same time so it will allocate space to queue so there will be a queue formed if several clients want to connect at the same time accept primitive to block waiting for an incoming connection the server executes an accept primitive when a tpdu requesting for a connection arrives the transport entity creates a new sockets and returns a file descriptor for it client side primitives are also there socket primitive on the client side also a socket needs to be created first using the socket primitive however the bind is not required so you need not give any kind of address at the client side but at the server side you have a bind primitive to give the address for the newly created sockets connect primitive the connect primitive blocks the caller and initiates the connection processor so it will block the caller and initiate the connection process the client is unblocked and the connection is established so previously also in transport we saw transport service primitive that a connection connect primitive will unblock the client and a connection will be established between the client and the server send and receive send and receive primitives can be used to send and receive data so very simple it will be used to send and receive the data close in order to release the connection both sides have to execute a closed primitive so both sides means the client and the server both the sides have to execute a closed primitive then the connection will be released so you have to release the connection also once the connection is established so to release the connection we will use the closed primitive so this was all about the berkeley sockets